With New Year weight loss resolutions being broken all across America, I want to help you get back on track with healthy eating, detoxing, and staying sexy forever, which just happens to be the title of my new book, Sexy Forever, How to fat, Fight Fat After 40. And joining me today is Dr. Andrew Weil, author of You Can't Afford to Get Sick, and Ain't That the Truth. Hi. I am so happy Good to, to meet you. you. Our, our paths have crossed so yes. much in the future. I, I love this book, and I agree with pretty much everything that's in there. Um, I remember you on the cover of Time magazine True. as as you were like the the first face of was it alternative it was alternative in those days now right. it, now it's integrative integrative medicine. right so uh, what do you consider yourself integrative or alternative no I'm not an alternative practitioner I'm an integrative medical doctor I use conventional medicine when that's appropriate and I use other things when that's appropriate and I try to teach other doctors to do the same it's kind of common sense medicine. it is common yeah. sense and it also makes cost sense you know we're in such a crisis with health care and integrative medicine is really the way to lower costs both because it focuses on prevention and because it can bring into the mainstream treatments that are not dependent on expensive technology. This is such a good book. I, you know, just in the forward when I start reading it, it, it everything is grabbing me. And last year I was misdiagnosed with um, cancer by six doctors over six days and, and uh, offered <laughs> chemotherapy. And when I turned it down, you better get your things in order. What has happened? Because you talk about this. What has happened to our medical system? Well, I think it has been really undermined by profit. You know, the medicine is not meant to exist in a rapidly for-profit system. And when you have doctors working in corporate situations where somebody above tells them how many patients they have to see an hour, yeah. and there's no time to really sit and get to know a person and take a careful lifestyle history, you can't do good medicine. Yeah. I have a friend who is a Canadian doctor who is practicing medicine in Denver, moved back to Canada under their system up there. We better yeah. be careful if we get it here he said he sees 70 patients a day yeah I mean their system is creaking and groaning as well for the same reasons that health care is too expensive and right. we've got to find ways to bring these costs down right and people are leaving this country to go get operations elsewhere right right so you know you write and I write in my books I think we're kind of on a similar track about toxins we're in, under the greatest environmental assault in the history yeah. of mankind what yeah. is this what are the toxins doing to us Nothing good. I mean, I think we're seeing worldwide an increase in allergies and asthma and autoimmune diseases, certain types of cancers. I think these are all probably results of exposures to toxins. And it's not just single things. It's like it's a total that, that is a total burden on us. So I think it's up to us to figure out ways to protect ourselves. Did you see the president's panel on cancer, that report this I year? I did. I did. Uh, are, are you as shocked as I am that that did not uh, hit mainstream media yeah, at all? Right. You well, can tell them uh, what they concluded. Well, I think the c conclusion is that we had better be careful. Yeah. Know, that there's a tremendous amount of toxicity in the environment, and in many cases these effects are unknown. But I think I'm a great believer in what's called the precautionary principle, which is that if we don't have all the evidence in, let's err on the side of, of caution and take uh, appropriate measures. Our livers are groaning. But you know, there's a great <laughs> thing you can do for your liver. Well, first of all, the first rule of detoxing is to stop putting toxins in. So that to the extent that you can, you want to limit your exposure to things and that means being careful about your drinking water it means being careful about exposure to secondhand smoke it means not having chemicals around the home it means trying to get uh, produce that's pesticide free uh, and if your liver is a concern and it you know it is mm -hmm. there's a very simple remedy for that there's an herb called milk thistle that people should know mm. about this is perfectly safe non-toxic it's cheap uh, for anyone who drinks a lot of alcohol who takes any medicine that's hard on the liver uh, who has exposure to any kind of toxic fumes I recommend taking milk thistle it's a, it's a, it's a way of protecting your liver from toxic damage. But what about uh, glutathione drips well you know I with any kind of drips, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm cautious. I'd rather first try things by mouth and try eliminating things before you do that. That's, that's a more specialized uh, technique. But we're exposed to, they say, 80,000 different toxins on a regular basis, 200 toxins while we do our morning ritual. Pretty hard to avoid, isn't it? The body has a tremendous potential to detoxify itself. Right. If you stop putting things in and if you rev up the body's own systems of detoxification, so what are those? First of all, you can drink more water so you have an increased your urinary output. How That's much water it. should we drink a day? Enough so you can see that you're urinating.
anymore and that your urine is a lighter shade rather than a darker shade. I was going to say that. Simple. It's That's simple. Light, light urine is, yeah, is a good right. sign. Uh, you want to have good elimination. So that means eating enough fiber and drinking enough water and getting enough exercise. A wonderful way to detoxify is sweating that many people never think to use. And you can do that by sitting in saunas or steam rooms. Make sure you drink plenty of water when you do that. That's mm -hmm. a great way to flush things out of your system. Another way... Sex. <laughs> sure. <laughs> really sure. good sex. <laughs> I don't often write prescriptions for that, but yes. Uh, another way is uh, increasing breathing because we can breathe out toxins as mm -hmm. well. So when you exercise aerobically... Like yoga? But things where you're getting more aerobic things. So, huffing and so puffing. for exercise, it's strength, flexibility, and, and aerobic. aerobic. Right. Yeah. So the aerobic, uh, with the other things may help you sweat, but the aerobic uh, exercise, when you increase your your breathing, you're exhaling more, and in the exhalations, you can remove things from your body as well. I could talk to you for another six hours. Uh, you can't afford to get sick, and you can, uh, Dr. Andrew Weil. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And I hope we get a chance to do this again. Really Good, interesting thanks. stuff.